Hello, and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review with me, Elvis. I've got here beer from the Cairngorm Brewery in, uh, I, be I believe it is Scotland, yeah, in the Highlands of Scotland. It's their White Lady Crystal Wheat Beer. Absolutely love the label on this uh, this beer. This looks really nice. All shiny and stuff. A bit like the, um, they've got that sort of shiny stuff like uh, Glastonbury. Glastonbury Ales have got, uh, got that. I'll let you have a little read. I don't want to read it myself because I don't want to be... I don't want to need taste notes to um, that, uh, affect my uh, respect alcohol. I do respect it. I love it. I'll look at the QR code there if you want to pause it and scan that. I'm sure you'll find out a bit more about the brewery. Um, bottle opener. Yeah, as I say, it's 4.7% ABV in a brown 500ml bottle. Tiny bit of smoke on the opening. Nice cane gone that way. Cane gone crown. Yeah, I haven't had anything from this brewery before, so... I know... Um, Few of the other reviewers say about the Scottish breweries how good they are. I've had a few of their a few beers from Scotland. I don't know whether it's uh, it's a wheat beer, so might be a bit of sediment in the bottom. I'll leave that. Oh wow, that's really clear for a wheat beer. Unbelievably clear. Loads of swirling carbonation going on in there. Amazing. Um, sort of. Toffee in colour, coppery. No, it's not copper. I suppose it is copper to golden, golden to copper in colour. One finger, just off white, sort of newspaper coloured head. Lovely and foamy. Great uh, bubbles there. I can't remember the word what I'm thinking of. Anyway, uh, cheers everyone. No, we're not. What am I doing? I'm losing the plot here. Um, a rumour. Wow, that smells lovely and fruity. You, you, you are getting that, a very slight bit of banana like you would expect from a wheat beer. Or maybe I'm just thinking that I don't know. If I didn't know it was a wheat beer. There you are, it is it's very slightly banana-ish. Yeah, definitely. It is really fruity, it's massively fruity this beer. And I love that. I do love a nice fruity bitter. Although it's not a bitter, it's a crystal wheat beer. But I'm, I don't think I've ever had a crystal wheat beer before. I've had quite a few wheat beers, but not a crystal one. Oh, I don't know whether that's just a term that they use. You can get a bit of malt in there as well. But mainly you're just getting that lovely sort of fruity banana flavour that you would get with a wheat beer. Mm, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to dig in. Cheers, everyone. First thing I notice about this beer, you get a nice, very slight bit of sweetness straight away, but then, my God, is it bitter. It's like drinking like a fresh, really bitter lemon. Incredibly bitter. Very sharp. Um, it's a bit of a palate wrecker to be honest. So, I didn't mind a bitter but that is just too bitter for me. I'm not getting anything else apart from, I can't even taste the malt in it now. I'm just tasting that really, really sharp lemony bitterness. It's a very clean beer. Um, but there's a lot of carbonation in it. And it's just so lemony bitterness. I'll have a little read. 
White Lady, Bavarian style wheat beer with additional hints of roast malt for colour. Brewed with orange peel and coriander to give fruit flavours with a hint of spice. It's definitely got, well, it's got fruit on the nose. Kangon Brewery Limited. Uh, Scotland, I went reading um, www.cairngornbrewery.com um, I mean you can see there's an effort gone into this beer but to me it's just so intensely bitter I can't get any other flavours from it um, It's got a hint of that pepperiness, which I, I've got to say I'm not a big fan of in a beer. It's nice and smooth, the consistency is good of the beer. Um, I, I just know it's going to be one of those beers that I'm going to struggle to drink that pint, enjoying it. Um, it's not really my sort of thing. Um, although don't let it stop it by, don't let it stop you buying it because. You know, it's different people's tastes. Some people might really like a nice, real strong bitter. But I'm really not getting any of the traits of a Bavarian style wheat beer from that, to be honest. Um, not that I'm a massive um, expert on Bavarian wheat beers, but I've had a couple and none of them tasted like that. I say a couple of them, quite a few actually, but. But they've been by English breweries as well, so yeah, I don't know. Could be completely wrong. Um, if anyone's had this and they do think it tastes like a wheat beer, then please put a comment in the comments box and let me know because I'll steer clear of them <laughs> if uh, if it is like uh, if they are supposed to be like this. But it's just so bitter to me. It's so even after sipping it, it's just tingling away on my tongue. It's not my sort of thing, but like I said, don't let it stop it stop you buying it. Um, to me, I think I I'd give that a three out of ten because I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it again. I didn't like it, but like I say, my views are completely just my personal views, and some people might love it. Um, so I wouldn't be going buying that again. Um, thanks so much for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box, and hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers.